we are here live and direct with the man of God, Pastor Bed, on Tari Night. I know you surely be blessed. Man of God, it's a joy having you here in the studios. God bless you. God bless you too, Pastor Daniel. A man of God, um, for the past one month we had we had we had a blast. We had an exceptional experience um at Tari Night, hmm. looking at the matter of spiritual marriage there. The volume of testimonies that have poured in over the period of time is overwhelming. We give God the glory. Man of God, this month we are here on Tari Night again. Yes. We are looking at the matter of decoding our destiny and understanding, via understanding the star of our birth. Yes. That is why we are here tonight. Mm. Man of God, we want to firstly understand what even is a star <laughs> and what has a star got to do with my life here on earth interesting um let us pray like we would usually do to start father in the name of jesus Amen. we give you glory Amen. for our lives Amen. we thank you that you have created this season and opportunity to bless us by way of your word let it come in fire power in, jesus name. in the name of jesus thank you father mm. we call it done amen amen okay um very interesting question yes. to ask about a star i definitely think that everybody knows what a star is but by way of definition okay um when we talk about a star we are talking about a light body a light body yes okay. a light body that is seen in the firmaments okay. of the skies or the heavens okay. so um the moment you lift your head and you see anybody emitting light then we have a star okay so um stars at this point in time will be the sun the moon and the rest of the twinkling bodies that we see in the firmament of the sky okay. um per definition generally or generically that is what a star is okay now um apart from that um from a hebrew perspective okay stars are actually all heavenly bodies all heavenly bodies yes from a hebrew perspective yes from a hebrew perspective okay. so the planets are also seen as stars okay. from a hebrew perspective okay. but then from a scientific perspective um we would say that a star is simply light bodies okay yes so um bodies that are seen in the heavens are referred to as stars man of god there are many times at healing a miracle line yes people have walked in and uh, one oppression or the other mm. and in prophecy you would tell the person that the problem you have in the root cause of your affliction yes. is your star yes how what's the connection what what is there between man that is walking here upon the earth man mm -hmm. that is going about his regular lifestyle his regular activity here upon the earth and the stars that are in the heavens what's the connection how do, how do they connect what does the bible say concerning that this sets a tone for a very long discussion yes um based on the question that you've asked yes. i could have just given you a very simple answer okay. but by way of um instruction teaching yes. and the word of god i would want to start from fundamentals okay um how people's problems may be connected to their stars okay first of all we we'll have to understand that there is what is referred to as the gates of time the gates of time yes okay now the gift we have separated from eternity is time mm. and the moment we understand destiny from a predeterminate point of view that is to say the creator's point of view and um his intention by way of climax of um, a man's life then we know that the greatest gifts that we have as men within the created um phantom is time mm. or the created reality is time okay. there are reasons why i say phantom and reality, reality. okay um, what actually we are going through here is a phantom hmm. of a higher reality it's now, a phantom of a higher reality yes and okay. that higher reality is the um realm where we refer to as the realm of the stars okay so the terrestrial realm actually shadows or is a phantom of the heavenly realm 
which is actually the, the realm of reality because we understand that the things that we see are temporal but what we don't see is permanent we also understand that the things that do appear actually came out of the things that are unseen so when we read the book of corinthians 2 corinthians chapter 4 the verse 18 okay. he says that whilst we look not at things which are seen okay. but at the things which are not but at the things which are not seen for the things which are seen are temporal okay. they are a phantom of a permanent reality okay. but the things which are not seen are eternal okay. so now um in understanding this block we tend to agree with ourselves and with scripture that what we don't see is what actually substance is hmm. so faith is substance okay you see so if you talk about substance faith is the substance all right so the substance of what he said faith is the substance of things hopeful hmm. it is also the evidence of things not seen okay so in the realm of the unseen the permanence and the substance of the unseen realm is what is referred to as faith okay so our discussion tonight is actually a faith discussion, discussion. Sure. now from that point of view we also understand that we are a reflection of the reality we are actually a virtual reality of the true reality now this is what i mean whatever we are experiencing now is virtual of the higher reality which is god mm. so we only cannot see it because of the limitation of our perception okay and um also of our ability to perceive things with our optical eyes mm. but beyond that there are things that exist that are not seen by the eyes and a little bit of physics and chemistry we understand that electron motion is actually what creates solids liquids and gases yes so um, um the same water can solidify into ice and that same water can vaporize into gas mm. now when it vaporizes into gas you don't see it again at um, a certain point in time and we may say that it's no more but no it's still in existence it's in another state yes it, not perceptible to the eye to the eye okay. but it is in a state of reality okay so that motion of the electrons within the electron shell of that substance is what makes it visible or invisible by way of the electron acceleration or electron speed okay. within every matter substance so everything that we see is matter mm. everything we see is matter okay. now so you understand that this my phone is matter yes but then it's solid because of the electron speed yes. within its shell now water is liquid because of the electron speed within its shell so in distincting the states of matter talking about solids liquids and gases and then transient states or states that um we do not see that is unknown or unseen matter so in our realm of perception we have three realities of matter mm. that are perceptible to our eyes talking about solids liquids and gases okay. and all of these things are as a result of the electron motion that is taking place within that state of existence okay. now when you give speed typical situation if you pour sugar or salt in water now the sugar is solid or the salt is solid the moment you put it in any let's say tea what you do in order to make it dissolve into yes. that solution yes. is to stir yes. it up yes. now that stirring motion is an actual acceleration of the electron motion within that particular matter Atom. state okay now that was just um physical chemistry yes but now in higher chemistry chemical chemistry classical chemistry and quantum chemistry we begin to now deal with the unseen okay. as we go higher now in that higher reality what actually is happening is that the electrons within the electron shell have been given accelerated speed mm. beyond which our eyes can can perceive okay. so now if we had the ability to see 
there are things that um, dogs and cats and other created beings of our physical realm see that our eyes cannot see okay. because of their ability to perceive in their optical range mm. so um and when we talk about seeing we are looking at color perception okay. now in color perception we understand the emf spectrum electromagnetic frequency spectrum mm. now there are infrared rays for instance um during this um um, pandemic of the coronavirus um, you, you are supposed to go through various security posts and they use these um, how do we call it thermometers yes. to pick up your body temperature mm -hmm. previously what you needed to do was to put a thermometer under someone's armpit Precisely. or either in the mouth yes. to be able to tell the person's temperature but as you are seated here there are energy forces hmm. unseen by my eyes okay. but could be picked by devices all right okay so at a certain wavelength of frequency emission things are taking place hmm. beyond your perceptible eye okay. or optical perception and under that reality we begin to understand stars hmm. and what they are and what actually we are perceiving with our optical eyes when we lift our eyes towards the skies beyond what we see within the emf range of um, various colors okay. there are more than what is seen for instance I'm, I'm making a reality i'm i'm referring to you mm -hmm. beyond what i'm seeing physically with you there yes. is more than what is seen precisely even in the physical realm yes. not to talk about soul or spirit in the physical realm there are emissions infrared emissions okay that actually we could use to determine whether you are healthy or you are sick mm. so by getting a thermometer that could pick infrared radiations from your body okay. will now be able to tell the state of your health you see mm. so um for instance during um this pandemic of the coronavirus if you get to any um how do you call it airport or you have to enter any space yes of security one of the first things that they would want to find out is whether you are healthy yes but how would they know they will know it by the infrared emissions that is taking place within your body okay. being emitted by your body pastor obed always a blessing